Since the rise of mankind, Australia's Northern Territory has been home to native Aboriginal tribes. The Mirar people are traditional owners of this rugged land, home of Kakadu National Park. Its wetlands are a haven for crocodile, the Jabiru stork, and the blue-winged kookaburra. Ancient Aboriginal art preserved on its cave walls stands among the oldest records of human activity on the planet. Despite its remoteness, a quarter million tourists visit Kakadu each year. To Yvonne Margarula, it is home. Like her father before her, Yvonne is the senior traditional owner of this land in Kakadu for the Mirar people. She is personally responsible for safeguarding the land and protecting sacred Aboriginal sites. But the native soil of the Mirar is also rich in uranium ore. The Australian government has given permission for an underground uranium mine within the boundaries of Kakadu just a few kilometers from wetlands which feed the region's vast floodplain. Just go hunting, camp in the bush. We didn't know white people, we used to see the white people run away. When my father was sick, he didn't talk a lot. And then he said, take over, be the boss for all the mirror. Looking after country, protect my country. Energy Resources of Australia, a company that already operates a uranium mine in the area, proposes to dig a second mine inside the park's border. The Jabaluka mine will yield nuclear fuel for the next three decades. It will also generate 20 million tons of radioactive tailings, dust, and radon gas. Now, they're meant to be isolated from the wider environment, from intrusion from animals, or from dispersal by wind or water for periods of up to 250,000 years. The mining proposal is United Nuclear Power activists, environmentalists, and Aboriginal owners, like Magarula and another family member, Jackie Katona. My mother was removed as a child under government policies in Australia from family. And as a result of the poor conditions that are experienced by my family, I've had a very strong motivation to work in the area of Aboriginal affairs. When it became clear that the fate of the Mirar was tied to Jabaluka, the entire clan spoke with one voice. Attention-getting techniques were a new idea for the Mirar, a, a new concept. There was the banner drop, which took place on the escarpment within the Jabaluka lease, the speaking engagements, the national speaking tours that we've undertaken, which made an incredible statement to people in the region, but also internationally as well. In 1998, more than 5,000 people formed a human blockade at the mine site to protest in solidarity with the Marar people. Bob Brown serves in the Australian Parliament and was himself a recipient of a Goldman Prize in 1990. Yvonne and Jackie have struck a chord with the whole nation in an age where so many people are concerned about the future, about the sort of planet that we're giving to the next generations. Katona and Margarilla have successfully persuaded the World Heritage Committee to send an inspection team charged with assessing the threat to Kakadu. Really, the World Heritage Bureau is one of the only areas internationally that can properly articulate the issues. In November of 1998, World Heritage gave Australia's government six months to show why the site should not be declared in danger. An embarrassment for a country that prides itself on its sensitivity to nuclear issues and indigenous if rights. If you can't stop a uranium mine in a World Heritage listed area where traditional owners are opposed and we believe the majority of Australians are, What's going to stop them? No World Heritage site has ever been placed on the in danger list against the will of its host country. Katona and Margarula are confident that Australia does not want to be the first. And it's by standing up and by taking action and standing with our convictions that we're going to see success with this campaign. We're going to fight. <laughs> For outstanding environmental achievement in island nations, a 1999 Goldman Environmental Prize is awarded to Yvonne Margarula and Jackie Katona of Jabiru, Australia.